is is big and small I think I mean it's if you don't know about it there's only one style of paintball people know about and that's the uh, the woodland version that everyone sort of plays when they want to have fun but if you, if you know about paintball it's actually it's actually massive it's, it's really big in America it's big in Europe a lot of people in the UK play a lot of the tournament scenes there's, there's places you can play all over the country all over the world and there's a, there's a lot of uh, big tournament leagues out there and there's a lot of money that can be won and prizes and trophies and medals It's very irritating, I'd say, to be, you know, affiliated with the militaristic side of, you know, paintball, recreational paintball. Um, but the ignorance only comes through the lack of exposure paintball actually gets in the media. So the only the only paintball people have ever heard about is this, you know, this recreational military military style paintball. We have main engine start, four, three, two, one, and liftoff. Liftoff on the 26th space shuttle mission, and it is for the tower. I play paintball. When I started off with my brother, it was just um, it was me and my dad and my brother that start, started doing it, and it was um, it was just about the fun, you know, having a you know something to do at a weekend, and you know as soon as you got involved, there's something about shooting each other with guns. It's just a, it's a it's a boys' game. Girls are involved as well, but guys like shooting each other and stuff. And we uh, instantly took a love for it and wanted our own gear, so we we uh, we found we found a local shop, uh, bought some paintball gear, and the. Um, the people who worked there introduced us to a more a different type of paintball, which is the, the tournament paintball, uh, as you've probably seen in the videos. And um, you know, it just went from there. I mean, it, it started off as like the, you know just playing together, having fun and stuff, and it it turned very quickly into um, a more aggressive sort of style of paintball. You know, there's there's a lot of lot of power, and you know, it, it turned into a, we want to we want to win and and stuff like that. You know, whereas it, it's good to be with your friends and have a laugh, but you know, it's it's also something you've got to work hard at, and it has a lot of aggression, a lot of uh, a lot of power, like I said, and that's just where it went. And it's it's like my dad no longer plays anymore because me and my brother just went, we went too far, and we just we took it, we took all the power, we took all the power. It's fun and power, but we we power through. It's paintball sport. I certainly think it is. It's very demanding sport. It's very athletic. If you look at teams around the world, they're run like professional football teams. There's there's a very famous team called the Russian Legion who famously five days a week play paintball. They they they, they it's like a job to them. Um, they, every team has a coach. Um, it's a very very incredibly strategic 
um, game. It's an always changing game. Every event, the field is, is completely different. So you can't just there's just not there's not just one way of playing any one tournament, any one field. Um, and it takes a lot of analysis to play paintball. There's a lot of analysis um, that, that that goes into the games. For when you're playing the games, obviously that's when the coaches come in because they tell you where to go, you know, where the other players are. Um, it's very reactive, um, and yeah, it's it's it's. I think it's a very fast-growing extreme sport. It's just not had the exposure that other sports had the luxury of because of obviously it's a very expensive sport. It's not as accessible, but like I say, I think it is very quickly a very quickly growing sport. I think paintball is a sport. It's like anything really, it's, um, it takes a team, it takes organisation, um, a lot of, it's got to be really organised, there's lots of people getting involved, you, we travel in different countries, um, there's a, you know, a strategy involved, there's uh, a lot of variables involved, lots of staff involved, like any sport really it it, need, it needs a lot of outside outside people to make it happen um it's not as big sport as as the rest of them but it's catching up i i play paintball i play paintball purely to win i i played i played for this long now that if 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 i if i lose you know i can i can understand losing you know it's fine we lost you know what what did we do to what did we how did we not play did we not play correctly? Did we do something wrong? Did they just beat us? You know, I can understand that, but I I play purely to to win, beat them down, get that adrenaline pump, and just just win. Uh, an adrenaline like no other, really. Uh, I mountain bike as well, and although they both build up adrenaline, there's something about paintball where uh, I think you've got people watching you. It's a lot more of a how do I explain it? Mountain biking's like for yourself, you're riding it and you get an enjoyment out of it, but in paintball it's all about a teamwork, so you get a different thrill of knowing that you've helped your team progress to somewhere better. Can you make a career out of paintball? Um, I think that's, um, you, you can make a career out of paintball. It's, um, it's a bit different in different countries. I mean, in, in America, they, uh, the paintball, the, the, all the players in, that are involved in paintball, they like to uh, get paid to play paintball, and uh, some of them actually do, but not not on the not on the amounts that like um, uh, David Beckham plays. He doesn't get paid millions of pounds sort of stuff. They they'll just get paid to you know to fund you know the rent and stuff, and you know to get by, and that that's their love of the job. I mean, just to play, get paid and play. That's that's all they want to do. And in, in the UK and Europe, sort of thing's a bit hard. I mean, the the best sort of career we could get out of it is if we're involved in the sport. Like I am, you know, I work for Pink, uh, Planet Eclipse, and you know, I can, I, I, so I kind of built a career through it, just you know, because I know about the, the game anyway. I know about the products. I can sell the products. I'm technically I'm self-trained person because I know about the sport. So you know, in in some ways you can make a career of it, and in some ways you need to work. Uh, in the industry, yes, obviously, um, as an actual player, if you wanted to have no job, uh, well. If you wanted to not really have a life, not really have any money, I'm sure that if you put enough effort in, but then, you know, even the top players in the game are struggling to make a living from it. So, I mean, the recession hasn't helped at all, especially in paintball, but I, if, if somebody was asking me now as a kid to try and get into it as a job, I'd, I'd highly recommend not to go down that route. It's very difficult. I think what stops paintball from being mainstream is the price, because by its nature it's a very expensive sport. Paintballs cost quite a bit of money. Paintball guns are very expensive, they cost a lot of money. All, all the protective equipment, you know, your elbow pads, your knee pads, your playing pants, you know, your top, your mask, uh, loader, bottle, all these things. I mean, you, you could easily spend about two and a half thousand pounds just to have new paintball gear. So I think that's what stops a lot of people. I mean, it was very difficult when I was growing up to afford paintball, because um, when I started playing I was I was only just a teenager, only just a teenager, so, you know, um, having to, you know, get a job and work as much as you possibly can to get as much money as you possibly can to get to get a gun, you know, or to, or to get new, new equipment, because 
when you play paintball, you know, you, you sometimes destroy your equipment, so you eventually have to buy more. Um, so I think that's the only that's the only thing that stops paintball from being more mainstream is just the, the just the, the the economic sort of unfeasibility of you know it for a lot of people. I think I think paintball itself is quite a hard sport to get out there. It's I mean, when you say paintball, a lot of people think you know oh you play that game in the woods and you know you hide in the camo. It's that's not actually what we do and you know to. To try and put that on telly or get people involved with it, they, they don't really understand what it is, and it's 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 not. If, if we could make it Olympic sport, if it came out as an Olympic sport, people would understand it and they would watch it. They would get more involved with it because it's in the Olympics. That's the biggest thing in the world, isn't it, for the sport? And uh, but it, it's not. So you know, to get it on TV, I mean, it, it's a very hard sport to watch because basically you, you have like and like um, if you're playing American football, for instance. Like, if you're playing American football, for example, you know you know there's one ball, you know you know where which player is doing what sort of thing, and there's there's one focal point. Where in paintball, there are there are, there are ten focal points, and each player is a focal point, and you you have to understand why people have moved certain directions, why they've done that, why they've this, which a lot of paintball people understand, but you know being the general public, you, you don't know what you're looking at. You, you just look it just looks like a lot of people are moving around and just shooting each other so but. to be honest paintball for me is almost being known it's a nice feeling to know that you're a part of something um, you know when you're on a team every single person is dependent on everybody else so you, you get a self worth out of it you can say you know I, uh, I like to feel that I'm part of a, something bigger
Alright, that's good. Cool. I like that. 